2024 has already brought binge-worthy new offerings in the first quarter, but the year has just begun, and there are plenty of other offerings from South Korea in the pipeline, including exciting new seasons for established fan favorites, as well as premieres for original series. In this video, we will be talking about the 12 most anticipated Korean dramas releasing in the second quarter of 2024. Starting with number 1, Parasite the Grey. Parasite the Maxim is one of the best written manga of all time. In 2014, the manga inspired a Japanese live-action film, which turned out to be a decent sci-fi flick. After a decade, a new Korean drama, Parasite the Grey, is attempting a second live-action adaptation of Hitoshi's successful manga. From the creators of Train to Busan, the drama tells the story of parasites that fall from space and take over human bodies in order to survive. When a parasite fails to steal jong su brain, it seizes control over her hand, and life has never been the same since, forcing her to fight other parasites and find new ways to survive. DP's Koo Kyo Hwan and Peninsula's Lee Jong Hun will also star as people who have devoted their lives to tracking down and battling the parasites. It will premiere on April 5th on the streaming platform Netflix. Number 2. Blood Free. K dramas are notorious for delving into innovative sci fi narratives, and Blood Free is no exception. The story is set in a futuristic world where humans can no longer find animal meat and BF, a company established by Yoon Jae-yoo, dominates the market for cultured meat. With the ambition of bringing humans back to the top of the food chain, she has set her sights on capturing the global market. Despite her unwavering competence, she will face many hurdles along the road. However, when she hires a soldier-turned-bodyguard, Wu Che Woon, she comes closer to her ambition as the two tackle the imminent challenges together. Starring Han Hyoju and Jo Ji-hyun as the main leads, the 10 episodes drama will premiere on Disney Plus and Hulu on April 10th. Number 3. Chief Detective 1958. It is rare for K-dramas to be a remake of older soap operas, but Chief Detective 1958 will be unlike anything you've seen before because it is based on the Korean soap opera Chief Inspector, which aired from 1971 to 1989. However, watching the series before this drama is not required as it serves as a prequel telling the story of Chief Inspector Park before his time on the original series. Lee Jae-hoon will take on a younger version of the show's leading character, who is transferred to Seoul and works to fight petty crime with three of his colleagues. Along the way, the righteous detective does his best to fight corruption and abuse of power as well. Chief Detective 1958 will premiere on April 19th on NBC and will be available for streaming on Disney+. Number 4. Goodbye, Earth. Movies and TV shows that feature the end of the world have long enticed audiences. Goodbye, Earth, an upcoming K-drama, will paint a vivid picture of how the world would turn if a similar incident occurred. In a fictional world, an asteroid capable of destroying an entire planet is on course to strike Earth in precisely 200 days, and people around the world are eventually made aware of the situation. The plot revolves around a couple in a long-distance relationship, Jin Se-kyung and ha Yun sung played by an Yoon Jin and Yoo Ain, respectively. While the former is a middle school teacher in South Korea, the latter works as a researcher at an institute in the United States. As both get together to spend their final days doing what they love, we see the decisions of others, including a Catholic priest and an army commander who strives to help those in need despite the world's end approaching. Goodbye Earth will be released on the streaming platform Netflix on April 26th. Number 5. Frankly Speaking In this new romantic comedy K-drama series, Frankly Speaking, Go Jungpyo portrays Baek Songgi, a promising news anchor known for his adherence to rules and his meticulously maintained clean image. However, his life takes an unexpected and quite literal twist when he suffers an electrocution accident. This incident results in a strange condition that makes him incapable of telling lies. Gang Hana will take on the role of On Uju, a dynamic variety show writer driven by her passion for creating engaging television content for her viewers. With her keen eye for potential, on Uju recognizes the value of featuring the refreshingly honest Baig Songi who is just unable to lie, in her programs. Their unexpected collaboration sets off a chain of events that profoundly alters the course of both their lives. 
Frankly Speaking is all set to premiere on May 1st on JTBC. Number 6. Connection. Connection depicts the revelation of connections within a 20-year distorted friendship based on the death of a high school friend who left behind an insurance of 5 billion won. Ji Sung takes on the role of Jang Jaegyung, an inspector of the narcotics team at Anhyeon police station, who is forcibly addicted to drugs but well respected and trusted by juniors and seniors. Sean Mido portrays Oh Yoon Jin, a reporter in the social affairs department who gets unfairly dismissed from her previous job and decides to return to Anhyeon City to focus on reporting about corruption, getting involved with Yang Jaegyong. It is scheduled to air on SBS in May 2024. Number 7. Uncle Sam Sik, starring Song Kang Ho, Byeon Yohan, and more. Uncle Sam Sik is set in the 1960s and explores the lives of two men who are very different from each other and respond differently when they face a crisis. Song Kang Ho takes on the role of Uncle Sam Sik, a man who fends for himself always and makes sure that he has three meals a day even in a war-torn Korea. On the other hand, Gim San is an elite man from the Korean Military Academy. He is an idealistic person who wants to make Korea comfortable for all. This 16-episode drama is scheduled to release on May 15th and will be streaming on Disney+. Plus. Number 8. Dreaming of Cinderella Dreaming of Cinderella is a hybrid romantic comedy created by renowned television screenwriter Beg McYong. It is a story of a woman whose dream is to become Cinderella because of her harsh reality, and a knight in shining armor who doesn't believe in love as they draw a turbulent romance. She meets Prince Charming and, through the conflicts they face, she matures into becoming Princess Charming herself. The drama will star Lee Jun Young and Pyo Ye Jin in the main leads and will exclusively premiere on the OTT platform TV Ing. Number 9. The Eight Show. Adapted from the Webtoon series, The Eight Show centers around eight individuals who voluntarily participate in a TV game show. They find themselves confined within an eight-story building as the game unfolds. What initially appears to be a typical TV competition takes a dark turn, as the challenges grow increasingly sinister. With each advancement in the game, the contestants earn more money, but they soon realize that The Eight Show is more than just a game. The series features a star-studded cast including Ryu jun yeol Chun Woo-hee and other supporting actors. Number 10. Resident Playbook The beloved medical drama hospital playlist is getting a spin-off focused on the intense but heartfelt lives of OB Jin residents learning the ropes at Jongro Yulje Medical Center. Directed by Lee min -soo, the story will take place in the same hospital as its predecessor but will follow a new storyline with brand new interesting characters. Rising star Go Yun Jung will lead the new cast, which includes Sin Sia, Gang Yusug, Han Ye Ji, and Jong Jun Won. The drama is scheduled to premiere in the month of May 2024 on Netflix. Next we have Hierarchy. This youth melodrama will follow all the drama that takes place when new student Kang Ha disturbs the pecking order at Juice in High School. The series explores the social dynamics of a school full of wealthy and powerful teenagers, connected to some of the richest families in the country. While plot details are still under wraps, the show boasts a talented young cast, including Ro jong yi Yi Chae min Kim Jae-won, Ji Hae-won, and Lee Won-jong. And last but not the least on the list is Sweet Home Season 3. Fans of Korean Idol Song Kang can rejoice as a third season of the Monster series is scheduled for a Netflix release in the summer of 2024. Sweet Home's first season was one of the platform's global favorites, telling the story of Cha Hyun Soo and his fellow untrapped Green Home residents dealing with an apocalypse that threatens to turn humans into bizarre monsters. The second season ventures out into the wider world, raising questions about the humanity of the monstrous creatures, though critics felt it failed to deliver as tight a narrative as season one, with Hyun Soo mostly missing in action. But the third season offers promise, at the very least in following up on the shocking ending reveal of the second season. So which of these quarter K dramas are you most excited for? Let us know in the comments section, and don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the video with your friends.